Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. So here we are covering visuals under this playlist. In the previous tutorial guys, we have studied about area chart and we also have covered some difference between about area chart and line chart. I hope guys, now you are cleared with the difference of area chart and line chart. And now in today's tutorial guys, we will also talk about the next visualization of Power BI, which name is stacked area chart. And we will also make comparison of stacked area chart with area chart. So firstly, I will give you brief knowledge about this stacked area chart. So guys, this stacked area chart is exactly same like a area chart. With the help of this stacked area chart guys, we can also see the trends of our business of past quarters, days, month or an year. And also we have same parameter like area chart. But here in stacked area chart guys, we don't have any secondary y axis. So now let's start the class guys and let's directly go to the stacked area chart page. And here you guys can see I have already taken this stacked area chart from this visualization pane. And now look at the parameters x axis, y axis, legends, small multiples and tooltips. And here we guys can see we don't have any secondary y axis like this area chart. See guys, in area chart we have a secondary y axis but in stacked area chart we don't have any secondary y axis. So we can't compare two measurable values in stacked area chart. And now let's talk about this first x axis. So as we have seen in the previous tutorial guys, we will take any date column here under x axis. So I will take it here as order date. Because I want to analyze the trend on the basis of month. So I will keep here only month column and remove all the fields like year, quarter and day. And here under y axis guys, I will take one measurable value. Let's say sales. You guys can take any measurable value. So here we guys can see our graph has ready with month wise trend, which looks exactly same like a area chart. We can easily compare the trends of the last month with current month. So if I talk about this January sales guys, so our January sales is 50100. And if I drag my mouse here in the fab, so our fab sales is 27900, which goes decline. And in March to April guys, our sales will goes up. And here in June guys, our sales goes again decline. So this graph is guys is also telling the same story like line chart and area chart. So this chart is also helpful to analyze the trends of the last previous month previous year, previous quarter or previous day. And now let me copy this visual. Just do right click here and copy this visual. And now I will paste it here. So let me drag it here guys. And now guys, I will convert this visual into area chart. And now let me rename this as area chart. So guys, this is a stacked area chart and this is a area chart. So here you can see both the chart is looking exactly same. But sometimes guys stacked area chart displays different design which you have seen in the thumbnail. So let me show you guys just go to this visualization page. And here you can see the design. So its design could be different from this area chart. And now let's go back to this stacked area chart page. So there might be chances guys the design may get be different. And now let's talk about this next difference and if you observe that guys here detail level values are below under this trend line you guys can see it here clearly but in area chart guys here detail level values are upper to this trend line so this could be also a difference between area chart and stacked area chart and now let's talk about the further differences so i have to add full date hierarchy here in both the charts guys to make further differentiate so firstly I will select this stacked area chart and remove this order date. And now I will drag and drop this order date here with full date hierarchy, which is year, quarter, month and day. And now I will click on this area chart and again remove this order date. And now I will drag and drop this full date hierarchy here, which is year, quarter, month and day. And here in legend section guys, I will add any field from here. Let's say product. 
and in stacked area chart guys i will also add the same field which is product and now guys we can compare stacked area chart and area chart so here you guys can see here design is slightly different in both the chart in green so if you see this green curve line guys it's going straight but here in area chart guys this line going downwards and now let's talk about one major difference between stacked area chart and area chart so guys if i hover my mouse anywhere in the stacked area chart let's say july 16 quarter 3 and here we guys can clearly see we have sold butter which is 22500 and milk which is 34800 so let me open my calculator to add butter and milk sale so the butter sale is 22500 and the milk sale is 34800 so the sum of total is 57300 which is nearest to 60k and now i will click on this visual and convert into focus mode and now let's hover my mouse on 16th july 2022 so here we can see this guys this point is nearest to the 60k which gives you a correct representation in graph it's added to the total of the sales and shows you exactly figure in graph which is total of 22500 plus 34800 which is nearest about 60k and now let's go back to the report and analyze the same figure in area chart so i will click here on area chart and go to focus mode and now let's go to the 16 july 2022 so as we know guys the sum of july 16th is 57300 which is nearest to the 60k and here you guys can see this this point sales is nearest to this 40k not 60k although the sales is 57300 so the point should be closer to the 60k but here in area chart guys we cannot represent the exact figure of data labels so in stacked area chart guys it gives you the exact total and represent correctly sales in graph which is nearest to the figure but in area chart guys the figures are not correctly represent and now let's take one more example so let me go back to the report and let's suppose guys this time we will compare this march 17 sale so we have sold bread butter and cake and now firstly let me sum up of these three sale so i will open my calculator here and now i will add 3000 plus 8000 plus 11700 So the total is twenty two thousand seven hundred, which is closest to the twenty k. And now I will click here on stack chart and click here on focus mode. And let's hover my mouse here on seventeenth March. So here we can clearly see it, guys. It displays nearest to the twenty k. You guys can clearly see it here. And now let's go back to the report, guys, and click here on area chart and go to focus mode. and now let's check the record of march 17 so here you guys can see this point displays is nearest to the 10k ideally it should be displays the figure nearest to the 20k like stacked area chart so in the stacked area chart guys we can see the correct closest figure but in area chart guys we cannot see correct actual figure so this is the core difference guys between this area chart and area stacked chart and we have more differences in analytics option so let me go back to the report guys so if i click here on stacked area chart and go to this analytics so here we have just only two options which is x axis constant line and y axis constant line we don't have any other option just like a area chart in area chart guys we have lots of options like trend line x axis y axis minimum maximum and so on so i hope guys you have definitely cleared the difference between stacked area chart and area chart so for such kind of learning guys stay connect with us and kindly support this channel and if anyone wants to learn free power bi from scratch so here we have this free youtube channel guys which name is power bi full course by shubham
and under this 50 tutorials guys i have explained each and every concept in detail and if you click on this playlist guys so here you will find a separate playlist of dax functions where you guys can take depth knowledge about dax functions i have tried to cover each and every dax functions from scratch and we also have one more playlist guys which name is updates so you will also get to see timely update about power bi and you don't need to go anywhere to see latest updates about power bi so just simply subscribe this channel and take advantage of it and with the help of this visualization playlist guys i am trying to give you detailed knowledge about these visuals which you will not able to see such detailed knowledge about these visuals on other any youtube channel so stay connect with us and kindly support this channel and those who are visit first time on this channel don't forget to like subscribe and share this channel and don't forget to press this bell icon guys else you will miss an update and for the job seekers guys we have this free telegram group where i'm keep posting latest power bi jobs opening as well as you will also find some latest interview questions and answers which recently asked by an interviewer so you don't need to pay anything for anyone for jobs and trainings but if you still think you required paid training sessions guys so i'm also providing one on one paid training sessions and from day one class guys i prepare for you interview rounds with corporate scenarios which frequently uses in corporate while making reports so you guys can connect me on linkedin or telegram channel both the links are given under the description box you guys can connect me there thank you so much guys for your more love and support keep learning and keep growing thank you so much